Welcome back to Cooking Show. We're joined by a special guest star. Real. We love Real. He says, your hands are cool, woman. And I go, you're welcome. This is our dream scenario, being together on camera. No, anyway, here we go. <laughs> our our uh, video today is a little different. We got Valentine Cookie House Kit. You go, Heather, cooking on cooking show? Still not happening. So we're going to open up this kit. And we're going to do some things from the kit. So I think the important part will probably be reading the instructions on the back. We gotta knead the white icing, that's good. We gotta make the house, that's good. And we gotta decorate, it's good. That's good instruction. We ready? Yeah. I'm ready. Are you ready? Yeah. I'm ready. You wanna read the nutrition facts on this house? Um, I don't think anyone eats these though. And if you do, why though? But it's different, it's not a gingerbread house. It's sugar cookie house. Oh, you're right. But... That's kind of why I was curious about it. So I was like, sugar cookie? So it's got the important St. Patrick's Day. I forgot to mention, this is the St. Patrick's Day special. We this is 20 servings. 20 servings? Yeah. Jesus. Our kid is from Valentine's Day. And we didn't bring green icing. But we didn't bring green icing. So it's definitely still St. Patrick's Day, Valentine's Day. Moosh combined. Um, Uncle, maybe we should do this. Does that seem stable enough? The sensor is low enough to me. Finally. Oh, it smells good. Doesn't that smell like sugar cookie? It smells like animal crackers. Animal crackers are good. You probably need this thing. Yeah. Ah, ah. I knew there was something fishy going on here. <laughs> I guess that's the technique. Okay, people, look at what we got working with. It's supposed to come out here, right? It's good. <laughs> I think I'm working well with what we got. I mean, it almost seems better this way. So, a uh, hot take for me, Fireman. Not good. Oh, no. <laughs> I tried it, it's good. <laughs> You're not even going to elaborate on that <laughs> Spider-Man <day. laughs> I like Tom Holland playing adult man who drinks a lot. <laughs> That's my favorite kind of actor. Yeah. It's, I mean, Spider-Man is fun. I like watching Spider-Man. It's a good movie, but I thought Uncharted. Bad. I thought Uncharted was so fun. It's underrated and it hasn't even been out for that long. <laughs> Everyone's over here always like, Spider-Man's best movie ever. Ultimate Supreme Spider-Man And I'm over here like, but what about Uncharted though? It was good. It was silly and fun and it was nice seeing him playing someone else than Spider-Man But also it felt like he was playing Spider-Man, but he was just an adult <laughs> And I feel like that's what Spider-Man is missing. He didn't really feel like an adult though. He felt like the idea that like a 15 year old has of an adult. Yeah, adult. That's like a step closer to an adult. Yeah, I guess. You might be saying to yourself, Rio, how come you're not building the house? Did you want to build the house? <laughs> I'm doing a good job. See, my point exactly. Rio and I first started had his cooking show. It was in the middle of the night and I was making real pancakes. And, I don't start. Mm -hmm. and I said, it's Heather's cooking show. And Real would sit and do nothing while I make pancakes. <laughs> so like I was saying, Spider-Man bad. <laughs> Real's hot take of the day. Heather's hot take, Spider-Man bad. Real's hot take, Elden Ring. Garbage trash. 
Except for these five things, and then also it was garbage trash. Nah, there's not even five things good about the game. The oh game's god, just bad. that's so sad. Well, in that case, Elden Ring is bad. It has antiquated gameplay that's worse than its predecessors, even though it's blatantly ripping off its predecessors. If you like it, good for you though. I mean, I wish I liked it. I wish I could be you. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. <laughs> You know, sometimes you just gotta just gotta go for it. Just gotta tell your friends, hey, watch Uncharted instead of Spider Man. So that's your hot take. If you could only watch Spider Man or Uncharted, can't see them both. Just watch Uncharted. Yeah, I might agree with that. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I feel like Spider Man was like really fun. And like I like it because it's Spider Man, but like there's already been so many Spider-Man movies. And like, I know it's like, I also really like, I'm not gonna discredit this. I really like, like the multiverse stuff and I really like all of the bad guys. I'm not gonna spoil things cause if you haven't seen it. But like for me, watching that movie, I was way more excited for the end part with the Doctor Strange. Um, it's like, Literally after all of the credits. Oh, you mean the, the trailer? The trailer for the, for the Doctor Strange movie. I was more excited about that. But that's just because I like Wanda, and I didn't like grow up being like, oh, it's Ben Man. And it also didn't grow up being like, ooh, Marvel. I would agree with you in the sense that like you'd always just watch one of the older Spider Mans. They're probably good. Plus the two other Spider Mans that exist in the same universe. <laughs> Well, I'm saying Tom Holland only does Spider-Man or he only does Uncharted. Like, one series, one movie doesn't exist. Mm. But then I'm gonna pick... Well, in that case, then I can't pick one movie over, like, three movies. Well, let's say they make three more Uncharted. Or two more Uncharted. Maybe then. Because I really had fun at Uncharted. <laughs> you should have seen me in the theater. Rhea saw me in the theater. Ah, I'm actually doing things to this house. I suppose that begs the question, is Uncharted better than Spider-Verse? Than the Spider-Verse altogether? No, the movie with Miles. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> that one's just a classic. It's I'm saying Uncharted isn't a classic. Well, it's a classic, but in a different kind of way. Like, there's some charm to the video game movie aesthetic. <laughs> the Uncharted, the movie feels like a video game for the first, like, 40 minutes. I liked it a lot. I was like, I feel like I'm watching cutscenes to a video game, which is, like, all I want when I play a video game. <laughs> That's fair. It's just, like, a personal thing. That's why I tend to watch people play video games over... Ooh over um, actually playing them. Aside from the fact that I'm bad at playing video games. Because I get frustrated and then I want to stop. <laughs> this definitely looks great. I'm an artiste. Mm -hmm. Did you want to do anything to this house? No, <laughs> all right. It's a pretty good looking house. I'm sure leprechauns live in there. I'm sure they do. I'm sure they read their leprechaun books. <laughs> the leprechaun newspaper. Mm -hmm. Oh, ooh, 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 here's another hot topic because I just saw it. But the Groundhog Day musical is better than the Groundhog Day movie. Only by like this much, which is really difficult because I love Bill Murray and I think he does a wonderful job of being Bill Murray. <laughs> There's a lot of like, we watched, I, I saw the play and I watched the movie yesterday and there's a lot of weird inconsistencies in the movie for like, Excuse me. Or they do things like, <laughs> in the play, there's only a set amount of people in the cast. So they focus on each character and like give them personalities. And then like Bill has, or I guess Phil Collins in the thing. Bill Murray. Bill Murray. <laughs> Fake Bill Murray has to fit, because in, oh, in the play. In the play, he has to like figure out each person's personality and like, you know, there's set people that he has to help. And he, like, helps them and it shows him, like, going through the trials and tribulations. And, like, his character growth, I think, is shown way better in the play. Because there's, like, 
parts of the play where he sings about, it's a musical, where he sings about <laughs> is him overcoming those things or like dealing with the problems. In the movie, he just kind of, you know, is a dick and then he's not. <laughs> I don't even feel like he's that much of a dick in the movie. Yeah. Like, they don't show him being a bad guy in the movie. People just go, I don't like you because you're a bad guy. And he goes, all right, well, I'm not going to be inherently nice to you anymore because, like, why, why would I? I mean, that's what it is. Because in the play, he's, like, a dick. He's, like, really mean to people. And he, like, swears on camera. That's, like, one of the first things that you see. And then, like, characters trying to be nice to him. Like, oh, we can, like, get some dinner. Or, like, we can, like, hang out afterwards. And he's, like, no, fuck you. And he'll walk away. <laughs> and then he, like, slowly, like, learns not to be a bad person. No, to be fair, I don't even think that, like, that behavior inherently makes you a bad person. Because they kind of, like, do that in the movie where someone's like, do you want to go to this party? The first night, the days start repeating, and he's like, no, I just want to take a shower and go to bed. Which is like, yeah, but, this seems reasonable. <laughs> but in the play, they make it like a thing where he's like, I hate small towns. I never want to be in a small town. This is a garbage place. I can't. They kind of do that in the movie. But, like, it's, like, really driven home that, like, he doesn't like it there. Yeah, but even that, I don't, I don't think that's people. a horrible thing. I mean, I guess to just hate the people for being small-town people is kind of unreasonable. Mm -hmm. But to be like, I have a preference. Well, the pre- yeah, no, that's fine. I, like, don't want to open these because I don't want to get sprinkled all over it. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> even with it, there's holes in this. You know, it's a good movie, though. The Parent Trap with Lindsay Lohan. <laughs> that movie has, like, weird vibes sometimes, though. Like what? Like when they're like, ah yes, we'll have a 12 year old, not even, like an 11 and 9 month year old girl. Skinny dip. Oh yeah, that was weird. Oh, just camp thing. I mean, I don't think anyone does that at camp. Well, okay. When I was at camp in fifth grade, our teachers told us a ghost story. Cause they were like, ghost stories at camp. They made up this story about this guy named Droopy Drawers. And... He was made fun of by all of the other campers and they stole his belts. Something like that. So they stole his belts, we're just gonna go with that, and made him go into the river and he drowned in the river so his ghost steals people's belts and if you don't leave out your belt for droopy drawers then you're gonna die in the river. And so then- Did he just not know how to swim? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it's like not having a, okay, having a okay, belt would listen, help you. Okay, listen, listen. I, this is fifth grade memory <laughs> from one night. So then, what the teachers did is they had all the, it was like mainly towards the boys. Maybe the boys were like roughhousing that day or something, I don't know. And... Drowned them all in the river. They made them all put out their belts and the teacher took the belts. And that was like a big thing in the morning. Like all the kids were like, oh my god, our belts are gone. <laughs> The only thing notable to remember, I suppose, when I went to camp, our cabin, it was a big building. Then there was dorms, effectively, that housed four people. And then each room, which had four people in it, had a toilet. And this one kid in my class, who was in my uh, room, clogged the toilet like four times in one day. Jeez, so, was he okay? I don't know, man. That's pretty... Uh, <laughs> it's pretty bad for like a 12-year-old. Pretty bad bowels. <laughs> Were they having food poisoning, or <laughs> oh, wait, did they just have big poops? Do we have the same food at camp? I don't know, maybe it's one of those dummies that like, just have wiping normally. He probably just took like the whole roll and was like, Shove yeah, that just right down shoved that right in there. So then that we had, did you do the egg thing where you had to walk around with an egg and pretend that it was your baby? I don't remember doing that. <laughs> so yeah, we, we did this thing where you were given a hard boiled egg and if you cracked its eggshell, then you failed, and the punishment was nothing. And if you didn't crack it, because we were at camp for three days, if you didn't crack it in three days, then you got nothing. So, <laughs> maybe you did get something, but it was probably something like... Did you crack your egg? Gave me a cracked egg. I think I was like... What is that? <laughs> yeah, because yeah, they only brought so many eggs, so it's like, oh no, we damaged the eggs in transit. Yeah, but I imagine the reward would have been something only valuable to a child, like a single piece of candy. Tell me a single piece of candy is not valuable to me. An adult, 
Heather's cooking job. I think if I made you do something for three days and then gave you like half a jelly uh... rancher, you'd be like, mm. And I don't know if your school did this, but we hyped going to camp for like two years. Oh, okay, yeah. Because it was like in fourth grade, they're like, oh, you should be excited to go to camp next year. Yeah, and we then did the that whole first. year of fifth grade, they were like, well, you're going to camp. Which was cool. Like, don't get me wrong, I really enjoyed going to camp. But for like a solid year, they're like, we're gonna do this egg thing, and you better not break your egg, because you really want that piece of candy, I think. I don't remember what it was. It's really dumb. I wonder why they put that in. I don't remember doing that. Maybe this to stop people from like running around or something, because you just had an egg on you. What? Oh, and that's the best part. So you know how eggs are like, I don't know, like less than 20 cents an egg? Mm-hmm. Uh, you buddied eggs. You shared an egg with someone else. That would be awful. I would be paranoid. So like, yeah, that was cool. Should I try the house? Okay, show me your moves. I just built it. Oh, perfect. Tastes like a bad cracker. Delicious. Your turn. Yeah, it tastes like stale animal crackers. So, uh, 7 out of 10 doctor's breakfast. Heather's cooking show! We hope you enjoyed this, uh, Heather's cooking show. We did. Yeah. yeah. It was good. Let us know if you, uh, if you, uh, like bananas. Bye!